the tides. The moon causes tides and wind to generate worldwide ocean currents that help to widely redistribute Earth's water nutrients and toxins. Without this effect, ocean water would be stagnant and seriously interfere with and eventually kill most life in the ocean. The moon causes about half of the tidal effect. The sun and nearby planets cause the rest. So as you said, about half from the moon. The moon's pull has an enormous impact on Earth. It not only, it's not only exceptionally large for a planet of our size, but astronomically it orbits very close to us. This creates large gravitational forces between Earth and the moon, causing both the large ocean tides and the much smaller continental land tides. The land actually bulges. Yes. When the moon travels directly overhead Earth, the atmosphere bulges. The atmosphere bulges in distances measured in miles. Watch this. The oceans bulge in distances measured in feet, and the land mass actually bulges in distances measured in fractions of an inch. It's all affected by that guy up there, the moon. If the continents were not floating on a sea of magma, they would crack all over the place. Exactly. And, uh, it's like a ship on the ocean. Yeah, like a ship on the ocean. Well stated, well stated. Although both the sun and the wind drive the ocean's oscillations, the moon's gravitational tug is responsible for the major shape of the tidal flux. The gravitational attraction of the sun on Earth's oceans is about half that of the moon's, and their gravitational interaction causes both the spring and the nip tides. Mm -hmm. Temperature moderation effects on tides. Mm -hmm. Because of all of that circuitous pattern, climate is relatively stable on the Earth. The Earth's tidal flow also helps to transport enormous amounts of heat from the temperate equator areas to the frigid poles, exactly. significantly mitigating extreme climate fluctuations. Without the lunar tides, climate oscillations would be far more extreme. If the moon suddenly vanished, the lack of attraction of the moon on Earth's oceans would cause the bulge of water in the oceans to collapse, resulting in a gigantic global wave flooding parts of the mainland. Lacking these lunar tides, the water waves driven by the sun and surface winds would move the ocean water miles inland over the vast, flat landscape. We would be in trouble. Mm -hmm. And that's an illustration of what would happen. Devastation. The moon's importance, important protection role. The moon, like the planets, especially Jupiter and Saturn, helps to protect Earth from damage caused by incoming asteroids, meteorites, and comets. Many space rocks that otherwise would strike Earth are pulled toward the moon by its gravity, missing us. And the backside of the moon gets most of those. Although the moon's surface is only 7% of Earth's surface area, its effect is significant. So it's a shield. Supporting this role is the fact that the moon's far side, the half not facing Earth, always faces toward deep space and as a result is one of the most heavily cratered surfaces in the entire solar system. The moon's far side has over a dozen craters with diameters 150 miles or more. Whew. Missed that one because the moon got it. The very and very few flat lands called seas or mares. Although the moon is only a spherical rock 2,000 miles in diameter, 250,000 miles away, it has enabled Earth to be a long-term habitat for life. The moon is a fascinating factor in the rare Earth concept because the ch chances that Earth-like planet would have such a large moon are quite small. If the many moons in the solar system, nearly all orbiting the giant planets of the outer system, uh, the warm Earth-like planets that are close to the sun and that fall within the habitable zone are nearly void of moons perfect eclipse research. We've already discussed that. Sun's corona could not be studied were it not for those eclipses. If the moon were much larger, an eclipse would obscure the sun's colorful chromosphere and we would not be able to study it. So summary, Earth's moon is the perfect shape, size, density, and distance from us to produce the stable environment that is important for life to thrive. 
Its many protective effects include causing the tides, providing the ideal level of light to light up the night, and many scientists believe stabilizing Earth's tilt. The Earth-Moon system relationship would be very different if only small astronomical changes occurred. The Moon was designed to help us thrive. Tonight, take the opportunity to look up into the night sky, view its special piece of God's handiwork, thank the Lord,